Don't act so well. Sit down. So you found some money. How much? Well, I don't think I should mention the amount. At the proper time. Was it in a gold clip Mark C in? How would you know about that? And was it $102,000? 102000 Oh, no, you're wrong about that. It was 92000 Come on, now. I knew about the clip. Why wouldn't I know about the amount? But I'm telling you the truth. That's all there was, 92000 You sure you haven't blown the other 10000 at the tables? I tell you, there was 92000 in the clip. If there was 10000 more, I don't know what happened to it. What's your name? Benson, William Benson. Address? 242 Wesley St. Louis. Las Vegas address. Mirador Motel. Occupation? I'm a teacher. A professor. Paleontology. Look, are you trying to tell me there was supposed to be $102,000 in that money clip? Mm-hmm. When did you get into town? Yesterday morning. Why did you come to Las Vegas, uh, professor? To have a good time. Mostly to play roulette. Now, see here, Captain. All I did was find some money and report it. If it's short, that's too bad. Maybe somebody stole it from its rightful owner and then blew the 10,000 at the tables before they lost it. But don't accuse me of something... Okay, okay. I just want to get everything straight. That's all. You didn't win last night, did you? No, I didn't win. In fact, you went broke. Yes, I went broke. Well, almost anyway. I had to save some money to eat on, pay my hotel and get home. I saved up $400. I'm a teacher, as I said, so don't ask me how long it took me to save it. Didn't take very long to lose it. Just one night. Where'd you find the money? The Pinto Inn parking lot. It was just lying there in plain sight. And it was $92,000 in $1,000 bills. Where were you coming from? The casino. It was about 3.30. So you took the money and you went to the casino and... I did not. You didn't? No. And I want you to know that I'm not accustomed to being told I'm a liar. Neither am I accustomed... Okay, okay. Simmer down. You seem to know who lost the money. Why don't you get him in here and ask him how much it was? It's a 
Suppose you tell me just what you did between the time you found the money and right now. Well, I found the money, went to my motel and counted it. I didn't know what else to do at that hour. You could have brought it here. No, I didn't think of it. Or you could have got out of town right then. Now, why didn't you? That did occur to me. You knew banks keep a record of big bills. You knew you'd never get away with it. No, I didn't know that. But I knew trying to cash a $1,000 bill wouldn't be easy. So you did think about it? Who wouldn't? I didn't sleep much last night trying to figure what was the best thing to do. So now you've got it all figured out? Yes. And I want to tell you, Captain, I couldn't keep it. Now, why don't you phone up the person who lost the money? Or should I do it? You got the money with you? I didn't want to carry it around. I put it in the box at the bank. That was wise. You sure now there's only 92,000? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, stick around outside for a while. Close the door when you go out. Have a chair. Mr. Newsom? Mr. Benson. Well, the captain's been talking to me about you, Mr. Benson. I want you to know how glad I am to meet you. Seems I owe you a great debt. Well, I was glad to do it. I didn't like being kept waiting out there, though. I'm sorry about that. I suppose the captain told you that the amount I found was 92000 Yes, Mr. Benson, he did. And he said you checked your count. Oh, there's no mistake, believe me. Well, I don't want you to worry about it. We'll find the other 10000 That much money doesn't stay lost in this town. Isn't that right, Captain? That's right. It'll show up somewhere. As I said, I don't want you to worry. I understand you put the money in a safety deposit box. Yes, and I'd be glad to get rid of it. <laughs> I can understand that. They will have to think about you. Oh, that isn't necessary. I hadn't really figured out. Well, we can talk about that later. You know, the captain wanted to put you on the 11 o'clock train. I still think it's a good idea. He's a warrior. Good thing, too. Somebody around here has to worry. Well, after this is settled, I would like to be on my way. I hadn't intended to stay long anyway. Well, of course. We can discuss it after we pick up the money. Here we go. Well, that's it. Just as you said. $92,000. And now we have to take care of you, Mr. Benson. I have to talk it over with my partner first, but I'm sure it'll be all right. Oh, I didn't really expect anything. It isn't every man would have done what you did. Thank you. Let's get out of the Pinto Inn. The Pinto Inn? Mr. Newsom owns a Pinto Inn. Well, not all of it. I own a good piece of it. Oh, you won't need that safety deposit box anymore. You better give Miss Purdy back her key. Golly, you're right. Miss Purdy? Mr. Newsom? Here. You still have another month to go. Uh, well, if you need it, it'll be here. Thank you. I don't think I'll need it. And thank you for your invitation to go out to the inn, but uh, I think I better be on my way. You're back to St. Louis? Yeah. You're a married man, aren't you, Mr. Benson? Yes. Well, I think that's fine. I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to call that wife of yours and get her to fly out here for a week. You'll both stay at the Pinto Inn, the finest in the house. All on me. Gee, I don't know whether Joyce... You think it over on the way out to the inn. Are you satisfied, then? Are they both of you? Well, of course we're satisfied. Everything's under control. Okay, then, if you'll drop me off in my office. Sure. Go, Benson. Good afternoon, Mr. Newsom. How are you? Mark it, honey. Oh, I just remembered. What? My bag at the motel. We're going to stay here. Oh, I'll pick it up. Come on. Uh, this 
Mr. Lent. Mr. Benson. Mr. Lent will take care of you while I arrange things. Excuse me? Enjoy yourself. Good to see the house is yours, Mr. Benson. Good to see the house? Yes, the house will stake you to any game of your choice. Well, I think I'll just watch for a while. How about a drink? Thank you. Boss wants to see you. So fine. Follow me. In here. Come in. All right, put her on. Joyce? Bill! What is it? What's the matter? Bill, there are two awful men here. They... Sit down. You cut me off. Why'd you do that? I said sit down. My wife's in trouble. Your wife isn't in trouble yet. You thought you were getting away with something, didn't you? Well, you fooled the police, but you didn't fool me. You play it straight now, and everything will be all right. I don't believe in holding grudges. But if you don't play it straight, sometime tonight something will happen to your wife. And it would be pretty, Mr. Benson. Now, let's have my $10,000 you stole. <laughs>